It's We're talking about Tom Van Del Joe, as you rightly po- yeah, pointed did. out. Thank you. That was on my notes. Van Del returns. <laughs> only thir- oh, hello, Tom. It's funny Sorry you should say that. that. We've got Tom Van Del on the phone. He's only thirty-three. We'll say it to his Thank face you. now. Hello, Tom. Are you sorry, mate? Uh, Joe here. Could I just clarify that you're 33 years of age? No, I'm not. I'm 29. Well, oh, good okay. lies. Brilliant. Well played. Uh, um, is I'm, that is that a Fijian 29 or is that uh, an English 29? That's ridiculous. That is a Fijian 29. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, buddy? Obviously, great to see you I'm back good. at Leicester. Um, last time we spoke on the podcast, you were actually in the bath, weren't you? I was. Um, yeah, I've actually just got out of the bath. So oh, you know, lucky. Uh, any, anything special for Christmas? <sighs> No, mate. You know, Santa wasn't that kind this year. He got me. Um, got me out of France. <laughs> got me out of France this year, which is nice. Ooh, mate, was it that bad? Was it? Uh, I just. It just wasn't for me, unfortunately. It just didn't work out as. You know, it was. Um, it was very different to what I was thinking it was going to be like. I thought I'd be. It'd be quite a smooth transition, but it was not. It was not. Oh, no. So, um, you know, I just decided it was. I'd rather come back and try my luck back in England rather than sit. In France for three years, basically, with a, you know, family. With, 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 a, with, a, with a thing um, zzz, buzzing away. <laughs> yeah, buzzing away. Uh, yeah, what club exactly. were you at, Tom? Just I, We've got the name here, but yeah. I can't pronounce it. Nah, Soyax it, Angalumi. Yeah, it's called Angloem. Angloem. They call it S.A. Cans. S.A. Cans. S.A. Cans. Cans. South African Cans. And whereabouts Whereabouts in France was that? About an hour and a half from Bordeaux. So wine was cheap. It was um, yeah, <laughs> positive. Really yeah, that was the positive. It was a uh, it was a lovely part of the you know a lovely part of France. Um, uh, all the players are really nice. Got on with them, but in terms of like culture and for me, it was it was it was it was quite difficult. I did struggle a little bit. Why? What was wrong? Just go into a bit more detail. Obviously, me, Just me and in, in terms in of like like the, the the training hours were very long. Obviously, I've got a young fa- I've got a very young family. Um, um, Mrs. was pulling her hair out a little bit. So we'd start at quarter eight. I'd be home at 7 p.m. at night. Wow. Mate, we'll get, uh, we'll get her some V if she's pulling her hair out, mate. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is... So easy, eh? Uh, mate, this is Leicester band Tim, from the day. This days. is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> absurd. Um, it was just very different. I think when you've been in English rugby for so long and then you go over and you try and make that change late on, for me, I found it very difficult. I did find it very difficult um, in terms of the hours we were out of the house, uh, in terms of the, the training load and everything, the recovery protocols. It was just, for an older older player, you need to be on it with your recovery. And for me, I was in pieces. And I just felt I wasn't giving my full to the club and it wasn't fair for them to have a player who they're paying you know, a decent wage. And I wasn't able to return that on the field because I just wasn't, there was just too much going on. It was too hard to move, I think. Okay. For, um, what, you, what, what you're trying to say is that the, the coaches were cowboys. Anyway, let's move on. Um, <laughs> how did the move uh, come about going back to Leicester? Did Jordan just pick up the phone to you now he's um, in charge? Is it the bat signal that you put out there? Return, Dorsey, the, the, um, I can't say your nickname on it. <laughs> no, so basically, obviously, I saw that Leicester were, um, had a few injuries in the back three. Obviously, uh, that was a, 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 you know, a, a couple of months ago. Uh, I came over to Leicester um, and met, met with Jordy. He said there may be an opportunity coming up, and I basically grabbed that opportunity. And Jordan came over last week, and that was pretty much it. It was it was one conversation we met in Costa in OB, had a little chat, sort of said what the what, what the what the crap was. I said I wasn't enjoying France, and he said, look, let's see what we can do, and uh, and we've done it. So I played one game so far for the A team. For, for the who? For the who? For the A team. For the, for the, for the, for the A team. Sh- for the, the shags. Shags. Yeah, and uh, that went all right, so that was good. And yeah, I've got a bit of weight to lose. Oh, mate, overall, don't we know about that. <laughs> overall, I'm feeling pretty good. And looking back a little bit on your career, because you, you have moved around recently, let's just talk a yeah. little bit about Scarlet's. What was it like? So um, Scarlet's was literally just um, basically an opportunity to play some Champions Cup rugby and get out of Bristol. I was never going to re-sign at Bristol. I'd already made the decision to go abroad. And obviously, I was set for some requirements after that at Bristol. And I was like, well, that's cool. I extend my season a little bit longer, go down to Scarlet's. And it was only going to be a short-term thing just to, while well, I did the move to the transition to France. So that was fun. I actually really enjoyed it. The Welsh boys uh, were, were good. They were, it was good fun. And uh, like I say, it got me, it got me uh, extend my season out a little bit longer. So that was nice. And then obviously, I did the French move. So 
and that went like a pile of wank. So it was cool. <laughs> mate, nothing wrong with that, um, mate. Just again, what was Pivak and Jones like? So obviously they've got the the whale the Welsh job now. So our, we've got you know a good few hundred thousand listeners in Wales. So it'd be good. Is, it, is there a hundred thousand people in Wales? Uh, yes, Jim. Yes, there is. Yeah. So we have got all them people in Wales who listen to the podcast. Yeah. Well, so what was Pivak and uh, Stephen Jones like when you were there? Oh, they're good. They're great. I mean, Steve, I played with at Wasps for a bit, little bit, and uh, Pivak was he was really really good. They really good set up down at Scarlet's and uh, their coaching style is good they want to play a wide expansive game and you know Scarlet's obviously maybe not so much this season but definitely last year and the year previous they were fantastic so you know they're, they're going to be great for Wales when, uh, when they do the takeover over there and obviously uh, looking at Bristol this year uh, having been yeah. there and um, Pat Lamb's now sort of saying they can make the top four what do you make of them uh, throughout the season so far and You've been keeping a close eye on them and chatting with Jordan. Yeah, Crane. I was down there. I saw. I was down there at the weekend actually, watching them play and uh, against Newcastle. And you know, they're doing well. Like I, I personally thought they might go up and then come straight back down, but they are. They're playing some good rugby. The, the quality, obviously, they've got in the team. The, the both the Pietau boys and Stephen Lewis and Ian Madigan. You know, they've got some quality. And um, the Premiership is a tough one to call this year. But I've been well impressed with Bristol. And um, you know, but, you know, Pat's talking about top four. I don't know if they'll make top four, but I, I don't think they'll go down. And obviously, uh, getting back into the Premiership, uh, you're on 92 tries, aren't you? Yeah, 92. For people yeah. listening, um, you fancy yourself to hit the century at Leicester this year? And how long? How long's to. the deal for? How long's the deal for? First and so foremost, so it's just I think to the end of the season. Yeah, take me to the end of the season. How uh, much? How, like, how much are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not enough. Okay, not enough. But um, no, it will take me to the end of the season, and, and obviously we'll reassess it after that. I've got a lot. I've got to prove myself, and that's just the way of the world. You've got to go in there. I've got to put my, my you know, put my hand up. I've got to you know play play my heart out. If I want to continue playing next year, then I've got to ring out, you know, knuckle down this year and uh, and show Leicester what I can do. So I would love to get 100 tries at Leicester. It'd be a nice. A nice ending, I think, to um, to my career to finish where I started, and obviously, a hundred tries would be great. Um, uh, and we'll see. And just just a little bit more on Leicester because in recent mm. weeks they've struggled. And you, yeah. you you know we were there as young lads. Uh, yeah. you, had, you had a great career when you were there as well. Obviously, on the seven circuits, what what's been different now? I know there's culturally a few different differences, but for a player that's been out of that, mm. were your expect expectations were obviously going to be different going in? It was going to be a different culture. What have you noticed going back into that squad? I went in quite open minded. Obviously, I've gone in when I left. Obviously, there was players like Ben Young, Tom Young, Dan Cole was there, Matthew Tate, I think, just joined. Them players are still there. Um, in terms of the, the culture, I mean. Obviously, yourself and some goody aren't there causing havoc. So whoa, whoa, whoa! Different. Shaping <laughs> dreams, shaping dreams. <laughs> so that you know that is, is definitely more professional, I'd, I'd say. But oh, um, oh really? <laughs> well, that's goody. That's your <laughs> part, mate. <laughs> no, like, but to be fair, like the old Leicester ways haven't changed too much. There is still that that does run through the club. And I think having Geordie as the head coach, who is Leicester through and through, has been there the whole of his career gone for player to head coach and I've been given the permanent role which was massive it was so important he had to be given that job as a per- on a permanent basis because players need that consistency and I think obviously I've only come in since that's been since that's happened and the players seem very happy they, like, they believe in the system they believe in Geordie when he's speaking in the meetings it's very direct simple messages and and I think they they just you know one or two things off you know winning these games these close games it was tight, it was tight the weekend with Bath they know how important this week is against Gloucester. So, um, you know, they need a big performance. And I think they'll, they'll, they'll get it. And I think the inconsistencies in the coaching, maybe with the coaching before, hasn't helped. But I think it was, it, they will turn a corner and uh, they should be pushing up the table. What, um, Tom, it's Joe here again. I haven't really said a lot because I don't get given any of the questions to ask, to be honest. <laughs> um, but you said about culturally at Leicester, not a lot's changed. Mm. Um, when were you last at Leicester? So it must have been what ten years ago. Bloody hell! The glory days. Yeah. The glory days. Yeah, okay. The glory days. Um, what changing room are you going to be changing in now, though? So I've actually changed changing rooms. I'm now in the old changing room. The oh, old you're big dog now, are you? Well, that's where I got put. So you went you know, from. The, the, so what changing no room, room did you used there was to no be? No room in? in the in the young changing room. Yeah. Ah, the and now so room. you're in the old. Yeah, I've got like three pegs to myself. It's like. It's oh, the big dog. 
big dog. Who do you change yeah. next to? Who are you next to? No, I've got Manu. Fuck, hang on. Who? Manu? No, the... Manu. Oh, mate, we know about Manu. Right. I'm not having it. I'm leaving. If he if he meant <laughs> asks the next question, I'm leaving. <laughs> I've got Manu next to me, right. and I've got... Who's on the other side? Um, Tommy Young's. Out of a bush. Oh, out of a bush. <laughs> Hell of a bush. Hell of a bush. Grow up. <laughs> Both of you need to grow up. Well, Dawsey, mate, great to speak to you. Great to see you back you at Leicester. Uh, good luck for the rest of the season in losing you a bit both. of timber. Uh, yeah. And no doubt you'll be going around Leicester looking at your old haunts. And um, thanks for... No, no, I won't. And, no, I won't. Your no, nick- no, wait, Do you want to tell the people go. your nickname quickly before you go? No, I don't. Okay. All right. Cheers, and mate. Good luck for the season. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.